Hi, I'm Michael, and today we're going to make a fully autonomous smart planter. Because not only do I welcome our robotic overlords, I'm going to help create them. So, let's bring this planter to life. I started out by drilling two holes for two buttons. One button will be used to turn on and off the grow lights, while the other will be used to turn on plant center mode, or the fully autonomous mode where the planter will take care of itself. Let's get this thing wired up. The brain of this thing will be a Raspberry Pi, powered by a 5 volt 10 amp charger. I'll be using this small breadboard to create the circuit. For irrigation, I'll be using a small 3.5 volt water pump. This will be connected to the first channel of a two channel relay, allowing me to turn the pump on and off from the Raspberry Pi. I stripped these LEDs from some low wattage grow lights I found online. Time for plants. First I'll be planting some aloe vera. Next up some pilea plants. some asparagus ferns, and some succulents. We're going to need to build a case to hold all the electronics, and I don't have a 3D printer, so if we're going to do it, let's do it old school, do it in Lexan. I'm going to use standoffs here that connect the electronics to the Lexan. To assemble the box, I use some epoxy. While that dries, let's make some housings for the grow lights. I'm just going to be using some mason jar lids. I cut these two circular pieces out of screen I picked up from a local hardware store. Just like that we have our housings. The water pump is connected directly up to some polyethylene tubing. The tubing runs up the back of the planter and branches off to little drip connectors in each bucket. But now, let's do what I do best. Let's write some code. The best part about writing code is, you can do it from anywhere. Oh yeah. I installed some magnets on the back of the grow lights. This allows me to pop them easily into place. distilled water. It's easier on the plants, easier on the water pump.
That won't do. We need more power. The Raspberry Pi is also hosting a local web server, so we can turn on the grow lights, the water pump, and plant server mode, all from any device connected to the network. On the cloudy days, plant sitter mode takes over for me. And when I'm away, my plants stay nice and watered. Feel free to check out my website for any of the code, schematics, and more. See you in the next one.